What is going on everybody? My name is Nick from ROK Music Review and this time around we're taking a look at this brand new song from Voiceber titled Time to Love. And that title gives me a feeling we're about to get like a nice emotional kind of ballad here. Perfect for the winter season. So which, speaking of winter season, today, the, the weather for, for me here uh, where I live, it was like yesterday, it was like in the 80s, today it was in like the 70s, tomorrow it's supposed to be a high of like 44, so 44 degrees Fahrenheit, by the way, so that's just a little, I mean, a fair amount above freezing, but uh, it's still cold. The low overnight tonight is supposed to be 27 degrees, so that's below freezing, by the way, so yeah, that's pretty sick. Anyway, enough little personal anecdotes and details. Let's get the song started so I can tell you what I think about it. Hey, piano. I've been tricked before, but I'm pretty sure a little piano, a little acoustic guitar. We're about to get a little heartfelt ballad song from these guys. Which is pretty good. Hmm, not, not entirely sure that I'm going to have a uh, massive amount of, of stuff to say about this song. You know, ballad songs don't really, like, you know, get me get me amped up, usually. Or give me a whole lot to talk about. So, that's just the thing. But I mean, so far, man, we got a nice little gentle, gentle little ballad, ballad song. It's sick. I mean, it's nice. It's definitely, uh, you know, it's super nice. Okay, so I can I can see that I can see this right just after listening to that chorus right and listen to how that sounds. I, I see this as being as being one of my fav one of my more favorite, you know, ballad songs. Cause I don't know. I mean, this entire song like if I listen to it enough, I can definitely get into it and like sing along with it. And that's kind of like a really important thing with the ballad songs, you know. Definitely a very important aspect. I mean, it's important with all music, but I think that with the ballad songs, it's especially important. I wish... I wish that I could like, you know, read and understand. I mean, like I can I can read Korean, you know, in the sense that like I know how, how everything sounds, you know. But but that is about the extent of it. Like I can pronounce all this stuff and I can and it might might be a little helpful in uh in the instance of this music video, you know. It might be it just might be this might be a little, a little important, but um, on the other hand, you know, being, being considering that I can read, but I don't know what any of it means. I do know that really all of it is just little highlights and reflections of the, uh, of the lyrics in the song. But I'd have to say, right, I'm, I'm sorry that I just talked, I'm talking over this part all of that previously because it's it's like you know it's it's the it's the most emotion filled part of the song and right up to the end of it you know and i just talk straight through it i'm sorry but i did catch it i did catch it i heard it i heard i heard all of it Ooh, ooh. I like that. That was nice. That was that was a, that was a really 
that was a really nice song. You know, ballad, uh, ballad songs, like I said, they're not really they're not really my thing. Um, well, I, I don't know. They're, they're it kind of takes like a a special kind of ballad song for me to like really be like I love this. This is awesome. And you know, really, I think the only per the only um, ballad singer or solo singer who's ever really been able to do that for me is is Navi, because uh, she's just absolutely fantastic. And I think that th- this song specifically kind of is, you know, falls in line with why I love her music so much is like, you know, one, the, the voices are just spectacular. They're really, really great. Two, you get a lot of like, I actually feel, you know, like they're feeling the music, right? They're feeling the emotion and whatever it is that they're, that they're putting into the lyrics and the meaning of the song. So that definitely helps, you know, make something good. It makes it feel authentic to me. And then number three is that after listening to this for, you know, frequently, like, I can definitely feel that, or I definitely feel that, like, the, it's simply, it's really kind of, like, simple to understand and also sing along with. Like, of course, I don't, I can't sing, right? I can't sing like this. I can't sing at all. So, so it's not like anybody would want to hear me sing it, but, you know, it is, like, easy enough that if I were to listen, al- that, that I were to listen enough, that for a majority of the song, then you could sing along with. And, you know, like I said, and like I said, those three points right there are kind of the reason, or one of the main reasons why I really, really like, you know, the music from Navi. Her most recent song um, is... The, probably I can I think that I can sing along with like the entire song to a certain extent which is is pretty awesome I can't do that with k-pop can't do that with the with the pop songs but I can definitely do that with the ballad songs so that definitely is is something cool and I think that you know for me right that's kind of like the main point or the main thing that I look at and the thing that really kind of sells me on a ballad song is like like how authentic does it feel to me you know like if it's supposed to be, you know, an emotional song about, you know, the girl that is leaving or, or, or you know, the, I guess, you know, girl and love are kind of the same thing in, in, a, in the sense of the song, you know, and, and you don't and you don't want her to go or, or you know, you don't want to you don't want to lose that, that girl or you don't want to lose the love, you know, do you are, are you like, you know, getting across that emotion and that that feeling, you know, accurately and does it feel authentic? I think that's, you know, a really important question to, you know, kind of consider and like if the answer is yes then that's fantastic and like i don't particularly care so much whether if like this person individual is like the most spectacular vocalist i've ever heard you know they're they're hitting all the high notes and all the low notes and this like it's all of uh, the vocal performance is flawless but like if you don't if i don't feel it if i don't feel any sort of like feeling and authenticity behind it i don't really care you know and I feel like this is like even if they like legitimately don't really feel it, you know, but they they're they're put they're doing a really good job of of you know feeling authentic about it, you know, and and that's good. Like it, if the song I would like, as I would imagine the song isn't actually coming from a place of personal experience, right? So they don't have you know the thing. But of course, everyone can kind of relate, I think, to what the just general you know m- meaning and and you know, emotion that the, the song comes from. So, you know, they definitely have something to play off of. So I don't even know where I was going with that point. But ultimately, right, the main thing that sells this song for me and makes it one that I like is that these dudes right here are feeling the music, they're feeling the emotion, they're feeling the message, and, you know, they're just they're just into it and the entire, you know, performance and all that stuff feels authentic. I don't care how well they sing. They feel authentic. That's the most important thing to me when I listen to a ballad song. So that is what I got. My question for you, since I shared what my, you know, number one criteria is for these ballad songs is I want to know what your number one criteria is. Like, what do you love about ballad songs? What is the thing that if it doesn't have, you don't like a ballad song? Do you like the vocal performances? Do you like it when they hit the high notes or the low notes? Or both? Do you think that the that the that the feeling and the the reality, I guess, between the or behind the emotion and the feeling of the song is important? You know, what is the most important aspect of a ballad song to you? You know, post your thoughts and stuff to or the answers to that question down in the comment box below. Also, let me know what you think of this song and music video as well, because I'm interested in that. Hit that share button, leave a rating. That helps me out a great deal. What also helps me out is if you check out these two videos over here that you might be interested in watching. Also, 
If you're not already and you like this video and you want to see more like this in the future, hit click on my avatar down there to subscribe so you can stay updated with all of my future uploads. So that is going to be it for this video. As always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.